Hi there everyone, Chris at VR Flight Sim here. I want to talk to you about a free plugin called VR Tools. It's really, really great because it enables you to create and modify teleport hotspots in the VR space, which is such a useful thing. For me, I've been using it to teleport right in front of the panel of the TBN 900, and you could do that with any aircraft, um, so that you can use all those dual rotaries and all those buttons and be much more accurate with your controller. No more leaning in to see information. Um, I've only got a Rift uh, CV1, so uh, obviously the resolution isn't as good as later models. Um, and for me, being able to see all that information really clearly and then teleport back to, to my seat is fantastic. So um, I've been really enjoying using it and I hope you will too. I'll show you what it looks like. So first things first, you need to download the plugin. I've made a shortened URL for you to make it easy. It's just bit.ly forward slash VR tools. That's bit.ly forward slash VR tools. So if we go ahead and click that, it will take us to the right page page on the Xplane forum. And uh, if you're logged in, you'll get this download this file. And if you click that, it will download a zip file VR underscore tools underscore v 1.3.4.zip. It's only 5.4 megabytes. So go ahead and download that. And when you download it, you need to put it in the normal main plugins folder. So that's Xplane 11, resources, and plugins. And it unzips to a folder called VR underscore tools. And in there, you'll have all the files. Now, there's a great little manual in here that it comes with. So um, it's really, really worth a look through. It tells you all about VR tools and how to create hotspots and move around among them. I'm going to go over some of it, but this gives you a lot, lot more detail. So I really do recommend reading it. OK, so here we are in the cockpit of the TBN 900. We're going to go to our menu button and then advanced menu and then to plugins and VR tools. And this shows you the options for the VR tools plugin. So we'll toggle the text window first. This just can load up a little text file. You can actually load different text files in there and it's got a directory search uh, uh, ability back there. Uh, but you can also edit these files. So if you were doing a flight log, for example, you can edit them. You can actually use, click that, you can use a manual keyboard, but I'm just gonna cancel out of that now. And uh, you can also get it to show your FPS if you want. So. The other thing that it does really, really well, as I said, is creates virtual hotspots. So I've already made one in this TBN. Do you remember I said I'd used it to uh, stop me having to lean into the panels? So if I lean into the panels, yeah, that's fine. I can use these things, but it's a bit awkward and sort of moving about. And then also having to read the different uh, bits of information on there isn't as comfortable as when you're still. Now, the teleport hotspot I've made is right there, right in front of the panels. And that gives me really, really easy access to all these dual rotaries and buttons. And also I can just switch over to this side using the FMS controls on the MFD and the center panel. So um, for me, that's fantastic. And when I'm finished, I can just go back to the pilot seat. OK, so how do we do that? Well, the first thing is I'd advise you to turn off the option to reload aircraft if uh, hotspots have changed. So this reload model if hotspot modified, I'd have that switched off particularly in more complex aircraft like the Zebo and the TBM. And if you need to reload it to activate the um, new hotspots for teleportation, do it via the um, menu that X-Plane has built in where it says reload aircraft without art. Um, it's a far more stable way of doing it. If you do it via the plugin, it can crash it. Okay, so the first thing is move to where you want to be. So we're just going to do one for this side now. I'm just going to drop myself down. And I was using the arrow keys on the keyboard to move around there. Now I'm going to just zoom in. Let's get rid of this yoke. And we'll just zoom in, line ourselves up. Now, when it writes it, when it commits this position to a teleport hotspot, it doesn't always get it absolutely spot on, but as long as it's just about right, that's great. And uh, so now when we're in position, we need to have a look at the hotspot editor. So let's get that up and uh, we'll just put it over here. Hotspot editor, there it is. And we need to create one. So I'm going to call this the uh, copilot CP space, oops, CP space PFD. And we'll just create that. And then we'll commit it and it'll add it to the vr config test uh, dot text um, list now the thing is 
if I just go back to the pilot seat, and I actually would recommend reloading the aircraft at this point, that puts the newly created teleport hotspots into the vrconfig.txt so that you can actually teleport to them using the controller. So I have actually just done that. And if we now look, we've got the co-pilot's uh, position that was normally there. And in front of that, the one we just created. So just bring that forward. There's a new circle there. You can adjust the size of the circles and the height of the circles um, in the hotspot editor under the advanced settings. But if we just teleport there now, I'm right in front of the co-pilot's PFD. We can also get back to the one we made before for the uh, other side and, of course, back to the cockpit uh, seat on the uh, pilot side. So it just enables that little bit more flexibility when you're using these uh, panels. What I'm going to do now is just uh, reload um, the Zebo mod. I'm going to load Zebo mod up and show you one more aspect of the VR tools uh, hotspot editor that I like. Okay, so we're here in the Zebo mod, and uh, I just want to show you the last aspect of VR Tools that I think is a bit of fun. So if you go in Plugins, VR Tools, Hotspot Editor again, and then there's this great Go To uh, option. So um, if we click on, let's say, uh, left wing, left wing, seat first class, and press Go To just here, and it takes us all the way back through catering, past the smelly toilets, and. Uh, <laughs> back into first class. So uh, here we are with lovely Austin on the LCD. Now let's have a look at the sort of place where I usually have to sit. And you can do move uh, next and move previous on this as well, but um, if you want to choose a particular one you have to use this. And uh, so let's go right wing second class. I think we'll probably get a better view from there anyway. But isn't Zebo mod fantastic, eh? There you go. And it's just going to pop us next to the right wing. And of course you can make your own uh, in-cabin hotspots as well. Um, perhaps near the smelly toilets at the back or uh, wherever you prefer. But um, it just gives you the opportunity to experience the aircraft in a better way. Now I did actually contact um, the developers of X-Camera to see if they would th consider making it VR compatible and the uh, by email the chap actually said that he didn't use VR and didn't really see it was something that people in VR would want. Um, now I think if you're a streamer being able to have all these different teleport positions is absolutely wonderful so it just adds real interest to uh, to your stream but also just for uh, for generally experiencing what it is to be on board the aircraft in VR this sort of thing is absolutely wonderful. So uh, let's just move that back to the uh, pilot seat. You could just do the normal pilot, uh, go back to the cockpit uh, thing, but I'm going to do it this way. So uh, let's have a look. Pilot seat and go to. And off we go. In the advanced settings there is actually the option to uh, have it standing or sitting uh, when you reach your destination. So that's quite a clever little thing as well. And um, and there we are, back in the pilot seat. So uh, if, like me, you use VR a lot and you want this extra functionality, uh, just pick up VR tools and uh, have a play. It's not bug-free. I wouldn't recommend reloading with it, and you might get the occasional crash. But when you press commit, it does write that VR config for you. So uh, really, really enjoy that. Okay, take it easy. See you soon. Bye.